Welcome back to the channel. This is our 2014 Toyota Prius, which needs a wash, but it also needs a new high voltage battery, and that's why the tailgate is up. I'm going to follow Chris Fix's video, I'll put a link to that below, and we'll see how we get on because I've got a different kind of replacement battery pack than he used. I'll also be sharing several tips and tricks as I go. You can see here that the car is still showing 46 miles to the gallon goes into EV mode fine and the battery pack is absolutely still okay and in fact if anyone's interested in buying the old pack do let me know but anyway it's now time to take out the interior parts and the main focus of this video is going to be on replacing the old pack with the new different style of cylindrical cells that I've got also how to save over a hundred dollars on your replacement 12 volt battery at this point in the disassembly of the old battery I'd like to forward a few tips that I found out and the first is you can actually get a lot easier accessibility to this electronics part by just coming through the back door it is much easier than leaning right across through the trunk the next is about, well in Chris Fix's video he said about needing an extension for that bolt there and that bolt there and I found out, I mean it's kind of an obvious if you've got more than one of these but an extension onto an extension and you end up with something that is long enough to reach over and undo them so that was great he also mentioned about needing a magnet stick to take this one out all I've used is an aerial off a 27 megahertz RC car and then just stuck a magnet, a small magnet, on the end and that works great. And the last tip for now is that this battery has been in the car for six years and has done absolutely brilliantly. It's still got 12.57 volts on it and all that is is for a lawnmower or something. So I got a similar battery from Walmart about a month ago, two months ago now, ready for this job. And you see the thing is on a Prius they got the round you need the round post batteries and they're sort of $250 or somewhere like this, the official ones. So what I did was, I have uh, took the bolt out, prized these apart, and now that will actually go over that kind of a post. And as I say, that, that battery there I think was uh, $49.95 kind of a price, certainly wasn't $250. And you only need something about this size, which is a 20 ampere hour, and uh, this was $39.95. Because the Prius itself only uses two amps when you press the power to start the computers up and then this main thing takes over. So you don't need you know, much at all in terms of battery power. So that's why that did so well and it's been replaced with that one. Well the rest of the disassembly has gone really well. The battery itself, there we are, ready to come out and I'm waiting for my wife because uh, well at 55 years old that thing's 90 pounds and I ain't risking it so she's gonna help me to take the battery out just a quick note and it's kind of comical really Chris Fix uses pieces of cardboard to help him take it out of his car well the cardboard I've chosen to use yeah it's got batteries on it <laughs> anyway carrying on just while waiting I've taken the top cover off it was four bolts on this side four bolts on the other so yeah, this is how they look after 11 years. Apparently these batteries normally go, they go faulty at about 10 years. But with us having to go up to Minnesota soon, well, now was the time to change these out because we're on borrowed time in a way with these NIMHs. And there's something I didn't expect. There's some reactive corrosion gone on there. I don't know if the new kit has any more of these in it. I hope it does. But if not, I'll have to clean these up. But I didn't expect that to happen. That's all of them out now on both sides. Also got the orange parts off. Next to disconnect those wires. And then really I think <laughs> the next part would be to flip it upside down. But I don't think I'll do it in the car. So now he's got me wondering how far I can push this without taking the battery out of the car. So I put a couple of pillows to the left and then I turned it over. And now I can get access to these screws here and the screws here such that I might be able to take the casing off. I mean this thing should end up light enough 
if I've just got the cell pack itself to remove from the car. I don't know, I'm going to try it. Well, and there we go, with all those screws taken out, I could lift that whole section away, and all we've got left is the batteries themselves, which must weigh a lot less. And in fact it made it so much more lighter, I would say about 60 pounds, that it's now not in the car, it's over here. So, here's a moment, taking out the last screw on this cream piece on the end, it should allow the modules, oh yeah, to come out. So, that's fantastic. There we are, individual Prius modules. I'll go and get the new battery pack. I can put the new ones in. Here's one of those just for reference things. Got the multimeter, whoops, got the multimeter here and 7.86, 7.87 on this particular cell. I'm not exactly sure what to do with these. I've got a bunch of them and there's no core charge. But uh, yeah, they've come out of a running and driving car. So here are the new batteries and there's the accessories kit. I've not been shot, that's a neighbour. And here they are, cylindrical cells. Thought this was interesting. Each one of these is 6.5 ampere hours, as it says on the right hand side. Which, interestingly, if you look at this LifePo 4, 6 ampere hours and 12.8 volts and these are each 14.4 so roughly similar so 14 of those is all it is inside a Prius kind of this lot are from newpriusbatteries.com including actually a whole reel of tape which is great the black tape to put on the ends of these which go on to the black um, the black bars the four black bars of the battery enclosure so I'll start putting this lot together to put these black pieces on is really pretty good I thought they were a bit too long until I just lifted this piece off slid them across and then this can go back on now perfect fit okay I'm putting these together and one thing you have to which is quite good actually that we have to remember is that these connect into each other they kind of slot together and they won't go together unless they're correct one to the next to the next to the next it's an interesting way of making sure that you do it right so as you can see also on the bottom they got those they do refer to the bottom and each one is going label at the bottom label at the top label at the bottom so you've got your pluses and minuses going across I've now got the underneath of the battery on top of the new cells and next is the new bag here of these nuts to put on and everything seems to be lined up okay so I'll put them in next there's something to be aware of that uh, the screws won't actually go in fully if you don't lift up this end the computer end because otherwise the fan the fan end is too long and won't allow this top part to fit on properly so basically just shim up a little bit next for the bus bars to connect them together the bus bars are now done on both sides next will be fitting the wiring harness which is in this bag here and here it is with one wire longer than the other one I've now clipped it in run the longer wire through the top holder around the back and the shorter one is now running along the front I've also attached the short orange lead the longer wire is now also connected so the next thing is to bolt all these up there we go all done on this side here we are with this first side all tightened up and all finished looks great now one problem I have got on this side is some corrosion on this wire so I'm going to use some distilled white vinegar and an old toothbrush and see if I can clean that up some and now it does look quite a lot better right onward connecting these and there we go with the other side ready for the caps to go on now kind of comically we've got a V8, a V10 and a V12 so my Prius has technically got a V12 on board Anyway, 
and there we are, all finished up on this side. Next is the temperature sensors on 2, 8 and 13, which I'll have to count on mine, they've got no numbers on. But I've found, well this is interesting, because on his video he says to press it inward, but when he actually shows them, it doesn't seem to be attached, whereas mine are. And so, I don't know, it's probably just a slightly different design on these batteries. But these will go round, fine, and then connect on. And there we are, all three connected. Next thing is to put the battery outer casing bolts on, plus the orange thing. Four on this side, and four on the other. And the orange cap has been replaced. A quick note when putting it back in again is that the bolt for the seat you have to put the battery in underneath otherwise it won't fit. You'll find that uh, there's not the battery won't go forward enough but it actually goes underneath not over the top. That's those done now to plug in the inverter wires at the back and these wires up here before putting the electronics cover back on. Alright so there's the new 12 volt battery in Got a date code there, January 25, and you can see the way that I've done these connections. There's that one and that one. Alright, so next to put in the orange plug, and we can try it out. Okay, got the key. Oh, trepidation. Foot down. Should get the clicks when I press power. Power. Oh, look at all the emergency lights. Yeah. Mm, what does this mean? We didn't get the clicks. What's the one that's flashing? I don't know, I'll power off. Oh, hang on. I just tried to power off. Okay. And nothing's happening. Wait now, engine started. Oh, engine to battery's going. Wonder if we're all right. And the one flashing is the flat tire. Yeah, is is yeah is the um, flat bottom girls as I call it. Tire sensor. This seems to be working, although it's <laughs> what the heck. It seems there's anything I can see it doing anything. Oh, it says it's 2013. Yeah, because the battery's showing as nearly full. Is it 2013 because it's the time that it was installed in it's, the first? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's gone right back because the battery got disconnected 12 volt. And there we go. And yeah, engine off. We seem to be fine. <clears throat> My wife had a good idea. She said, try and switch it off and then back on again. So, okay. Press the power. Still the Christmas tree there. Click, click. No, then they've gone, they're going off. So airbag thing, and that's gone off as well. So it's not concerning that it comes up with the Christmas tree? No. Okay. But it started the engine again. Yeah. Oh, of course, we're gonna to have to relearn the, it's gonna to have to relearn the up and down with the windows oh. and things like that too. Can I try a window? Yeah, try a window. Windows fine. Okay. That sounds Locks good. Lots of good. I think what we need to do now is take it for a drive and see that it's all right on electric power. Well, I think we're all right. Do we dare? Let's just go down the road and back. <laughs> okay. All right, powering up. Click, click. Oh, we're moving. We know engine. Let's put it that way. <laughs> yeah. See what it does with switches off. And EV, there we go. Wow, okay. With that successful start, all I've got to do is finish off putting the interior back together. And there we go. Back seats are back up, everything's done. Oh. Now to take it on a bit of a drive, wash it, that kind of a thing. But I'll show what the mile per gallon's like. I did notice on the way back from the run just there that it kept its battery charged, which is not usual. So that's a great sign. 
Alright, it's gone into EV mode, fine. I'm giving it a drive into town and back. See that it works okay. Alright, just been to the post office. Working fine in EV. And here we are, back from town. Oh, yes. 73.4. Wow. Okay. That's pretty good. Right, that's brilliant. 73.4 miles to the gallon. So, mission complete. And I've just washed it. So, that was quite extraordinary, really, to follow along. And how good a job Chris Fix actually does on his video tutorial. The battery pack was slightly different, but not too bad, you know, not too many changes. And was able to get through it quite well, in fact it's a nice little feather in the cap to have changed a Prius traction battery. Well I hope that helps some folks, and do let me know if it did in the comments below. Also thank you very much if you made it to the end of the video. I'm trying to get 4000 watch hours and get monetized on the channel. Anyway, thanks again and see you next time.